Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Frana and today is a great day because today we will be talking about the why of Industry 4.0 and at the same time the why of NDE 4.0. So we will be speaking about the purpose of this fourth revolution. Now the question about the why for me that is a really difficult one because most of the people doing Industry 4.0 or also NDE 4.0 are really into technology. They're physicists or computer engineers, kind of like the guys in the Big Bang Theory. And back in 2007, there was actually an episode. So in the very beginning of the Big Bang Theory called the cooper hofstadter polarization, where they tried to turn on a lamp through the internet. So kind of the um, Internet of Things we are currently discussing. But to be correct, that was 2007. That was one year before they actually introduced the term Industry 4.0. Now, if we look into that scene, then, yeah, they are sitting together like usual. And then they have here this computer, they have in the back the lamp, and you see there is a small device attached to that lamp. And then he presses a button on the keyboard. And then a signal is sent out from the computer to the ISP, from the ISP using a glass fiber all the way to um, San Francisco, from San Francisco bouncing off a satellite, going back down in Portugal, in Lisbon to be exact, taking an underwater cable all the way back to Nova Scotia, going back to the ISP and switching on the lamp. And you can see how excited they are. Now, a couple of minutes later, Penny comes in and asks the question, why? And what's the answer? Because we can. So I guess this illustrates a little bit why I think this question about the why is for a technical guy a really hard one. And this is also why I think this was about the hardest video where I had to do most of preparation work before to come to a content which kind of makes sense. But this is my will this is my opinion. So if you do not agree, please put your comment down here in the description field or down here or somewhere wherever you see my video. If you have comments please also leave them. This is really for open discussion. So let's see what I came up with. Now, if you wanna, or if, you, if you're talking about the why, I thought, okay, let's start a bit, little bit earlier. Let's not start with the why of NDE 4.0, but the why, why are humans doing what they are doing about human motivation? And there is, a, I think, a good model from Abraham Maslow, the so-called hierarchy of needs. Let's have, let's have a look into that one. Now, looking into this one, we can see that actually the needs of a human, it starts with, it's with the human's psychological needs. Health, food, water, clothes, sleep, shelter. All the very, the very basics. On top of that, we have safety, safety for the body, safety for employment, for resources, for the family, also for health and for property. On top of that, love and belonging, my friendships, my family, my intimacy. Again on top, esteem, self-esteem, confidence, achievements, all the ego stuff, and all the way on top, self-actualization morality, creativity, problem solving. So, and once you have about all of that fulfilled, then actually a human is quite happy. Now, but now for sure this model is not a straight, if you straight levels, there can be also that humans are quite satisfied physio physiologically and then work on safety and so on. And if there is, 
the most the most important point in this model is real if something at the lower levels is actually going out of the way then perhaps those levels are taking precedence like currently in our current new reality situation where we are talking about where our health status is questioned and therefore suddenly those lower levels are becoming more important than the higher ones where we are talking about yeah i want to make a, a big career but what does this have to do now with the nde 4.0 or industry 4.0 now if you think about the four industrial revolutions I introduced a couple of weeks ago. And this would be, if you haven't seen this video, this would be a good time to watch exactly that video. And I will leave a link to that video right here. Um, now, for the first revolution, people were working in handcraft. We had a pretty simple society. We had small villages. Um, which defended the population against others. But if you think about the situation back then, the situation wasn't really a good one for the people. They had perhaps one set of clothes, that perhaps a shelter, food, and clean water was already a big problem. Safety, there was some basic safety, but actually it for for the average person, yeah, it was pretty easy for others to take away your property, especially for the higher uh, levels in society. It was easy to take the property of the poor. So people were mostly here in this on those basic levels. And then came the first industrial revolution with allowing the mass production of clothes and clothes becoming affordable with jobs becoming available with jobs with a little bit better payment so suddenly or not suddenly but it was a process safety became more important for the people because the very basic yeah was already established or to a better way now with the first revolution also came then okay people were thinking about their safety about the safety of their jobs about their say their physical safety about the health status and they started to build unions to actually exactly work on those topics now back in those days where we were speaking about something like an 80 hour week work week life expectancy of let's say 35 years and now then came about the second revolution with all the technical innovations with um all the new products which were kind of affordable with cars becoming affordable with steel industry with all kinds of and with a and that brought also a reduction of the work time somewhere down to a 70 hour week only six days a week working so you had a little bit more time for your friendship for your family for your intimacy now this is not made in stone what i'm talking about here this is, those are more or less my thoughts which i'm sharing here with you now coming to the third revolution which we are kind of in the middle currently or at the end perhaps because we're already talking about the fourth one but we all know the third revolution out of our heart. And if we talk about the third revolution, we all know what we are, our society. People are talking about, I have the bigger car, or I have more money, or I have a big career. So it's really about the esteem, about the ego, about showing others how important you are. So you see how with the industrial revolutions actually we came up those hierarchy of needs. And now you can see where the fourth revolution actually might bring us. It might bring us to self-actualization. Now, one of the big ideas with Industry 4.0 is to get rid of the repetitive tasks we have to do in our jobs 
in our private life. If you think about doing a tax return, how much work that is, you have to do it every single year, and a computer could fill out those forms mostly in a way better way, because all the numbers are already in some system. So it's really about helping the people actually get rid of the repetitive tasks so that the human can concentrate on what the human can do best, to be creative, to solve problems, to solve the problems of the world, for morality, and so on. Okay, so now we are building this house. And if you're building a big house, the bigger you want to build your house, yeah, the more you have to have a good fundament, a good basis. And within the basis of this house, we have the psychological needs and we have the safety. And if you think about industry, who is bringing the safety to industrial production? There's one key factor to it, and that's NDE. And therefore, to build this house of Industry 4.0, to build this house of our human hierarchy of needs where we can get all the way to the self-actualization, we need to have a good basis, a good safety. So we have to improve our NDE, and that's NDE 4.0. That's why we need NDE 4.0. We have to improve our methods, how we actually do the data processing of our methods, so that we get to a higher reliability of our inspection results, to a higher POD. And then we can start using actually also this the, the results we get from NDE to actually produce create better products, better designs, easier designs, easier production, simpler production, more safe production on the same side. With all of the data we are giving NDE. So this is about why I think we really need NDE 4.0. Why, why I also think we want to get into Industry 4.0. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Now, as you might have guessed it within the video, I'm not 100% sure of this content and there will be different views to this question of the why of NDE 4.0 and the why of Industry 4.0. Therefore, I also invited the guest speaker, Dr. Ray P. Singh, to give a similar video than this one about the why of NDE 4.0. He will not watch my video before doing his. Afterwards, the two of us, he will watch mine and I will watch his. And afterwards, we will discuss those videos. We will also incorporate all the questions you write below this video or you write below his video. Um, perhaps we will even do it in live so that you can also ask questions while we are discussing it. But I don't know if I can get on a technical basis to that point. So now that we have kind of answered the question of why, and please leave your comments down here. We're guessing getting into the how. And that will be an interesting journey. And I think the next video I will be doing will be on the semantic interoperability. That might sound like, uh, what is this guy talking about? But I think you will find it interesting because this is, re for me, this is really the technical basis what we need to establish NDE 4.0 and Industry 4.0. As usual, you will find more information in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you. Bye.